How's it going everybody? This is Manny from Low Tech. Today we're going to see how to get your Joy-Cons to work as your mouse in Ubuntu. The hardest part of all this was finding a solution that actually worked. A lot of them didn't. A lot of the research on GBA Temp just was not working. I finally found something that worked on GBA Temp, but it was in the Ubuntu L4T for version 3.0. I figured the worst that could happen is that everything got screwed up and I'd have to start over. Worst case scenario. But in the end, it actually worked perfectly, and that's what I'm going to show you here today. Before we get into it, I want to give a shout out to the GBA temp user that I got this configuration from. He goes by Feranthor on GBA temp. That's his username. So a big thank you goes out to him. So in order to do this, all you really need is your switch with Ubuntu installed and all your updates already done. So if you follow my video on how to install and get the updates to work and update, you can do this from there or at any point after that. You don't need a fresh install to do this. So first thing you want to do is open a terminal and enter the commands you have seen on the screen. Once you enter the command, push enter, enter your password, push enter, and then it will give you a prompt to press enter. In your case, you will get a prompt, a yes and no prompt. You'll type in Y for yes to install these packages. And once you're done, you can close out the terminal. Mine look different because I already installed it. Just make sure before you close the terminal that it did indeed install the packages. Next, you're going to want to open your web browser. You're going to want to go to the link that I leave in the description that'll take you to GBA temp to a specific thread. You're going to scroll down to the user for Anther, and he's going to have a download that you can download. It's a config file. Once you download that, you're going to want to go to your file browser, head to your downloads folder. You're going to want to extract the 50-joystick.zip. Once you extract it, you can close out File browser, you want to go back into terminal and you want to type in the following command. Once you enter this command, you're going to be prompted for your password and then it's going to open up another file browser but with root permissions. This step can be done completely through the command line, but I'm going the Nautilus route because I'm running into a lot of permissions issues otherwise. Once this file browser opens up, you're going to want to expand it to full size. Then you're going to want to go back to your downloads folder. You're going to copy your extracted joystick configuration file. Then you're going to want to navigate to your main file system. Then you're going to navigate to your user folder, USR. And you're going to go to your share folder. From here, you're going to scroll almost all the way to the bottom to the folder that is X11. And once inside X11, you're going to go to xorg.conf.d. And then you are going to right click and paste here. And then it will ask you to replace the file. You're going to click replace. I've already done this, but you will press replace. All right, once the file is replaced, you are finished. All you need to do now is restart Ubuntu and the changes will take effect. All right, once you're logged back in, you see that your left analog stick is moving your mouse cursor. You have your left and right trigger as your audio adjustment. ZR and ZL is your brightness adjustment. Your B button is a left click, A button is a right click, your screenshot button disables this mouse mode, the home button is your escape button, your plus button is the enter key, the minus button is your backspace or back key. I have taken a look at the config file because there are buttons that still have not been mapped so I can map potentially the tab key and a few other ones that are essential for certain games. can be done, but it's a matter of deciphering what your keyboard key number is and what the button number is and once we have that then I'll be able to do it. I am not 100% it's going to require a little more study and research. The essential keyboard keys and the mouse itself are mapped out though with this configuration so it is enough to get you going. We're going to try out two games in DOSBox. One is a point and click adventure game another one is a first person shooter. Definitely takes a little bit of getting used to. You don't have the mouse precision that you normally would, but it definitely works. It definitely will get you by on a portable experience. I don't think there's more you can ask for.
So the one issue I am detecting in this game is the left and right motion is way too slow. Forward and backward is fine. It may have something to do with the mappings. I'll have to look into it a little further. So I would definitely say that being able to do this now makes the Ubuntu on the Nintendo Switch a more complete experience, eliminating the need to have an external keyboard and mouse around at all times. All right, that's going to wrap this video up. I really hope this was helpful for a lot of you. I know I've had quite a few people ask on how to do this, so I was really excited when I did get this to actually work. If you found this video helpful and enjoyable, please hit that like and subscribe button for me. I want to thank everybody for watching, and I hope everybody has a great day.